hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is tutorial part 2 on how to make a video mixtape using sony acid and sony vegas if you haven't watched the part 1 uh, there is a link on the upper part of the screen you can watch part 1 first so that you are able to understand part 2 on the first part we talked about uh, on how to make an audio mixtape then you export the file to sony, uh, to sony vegas to add the video so make sure you watch the first part also guys uh, if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe hit the subscribe button and also like the video so let's go to the tutorial so we already made a uh, an audio an audio mixtape so you need to drag it uh import it in sony vegas so that's what you're going to do so you saved it uh, in i think in music is one so just going to drag and drop it like that is our mixtape zoom in and to see it clearly so as I, as I said before uh, in sony in, in the first tutorial uh, on sony acid when rendering you need to render with the markers eh? as you can see here is a marker this one will help you when you are transitioning to another song making a transition it is very easy to to mark the point at which you made the transition so it makes your work very easy so the next thing we need to do we need to import the original videos so we we'll go to my to my videos mm, it's not there music 2022 this one uh -huh. it is in uh, you can get to one open it another thing you can do maybe you can you can search it manually but you can just use this this process what is it let me just search it searching will make my work very easy the song is balance uh -huh. balance so here is the original video yes let me close this one so I'm just going to drag it down there. Yes. Do you want to set to set your project video settings to match this media? Yes. So what I'm going to do, because I used the last part of the song, I'm just going to come and split from the last part. Let me listen to it so that I can decide where, where I'm going to split it let me just make this one big for easier understanding and uh, to make our work very easy you also need to open the preview so that you can able to see the video like that so uh, so from the from sony sony as <coughs> sorry from sony acid is the point i made my cue point but if you're not you're not sure you come to the original let me mute this one to the original mixtape and listen to it so this is a, so that the point so i come back to the last part and mute it then you want to listen through and so that you can know how to split not there around this point yeah it is at this point so you zoom in again the same shortcut used in sony acid the same one you're going to use in sony vegas so you cut you press letter s and split then you delete this one you don't need that part now so this part you're going to drag it up to the the first part so remember uh, we made a rope we did a scratch in between here so as you, as you listen to, to this one let me play it so you need to make sure so you start from uh, the point the part that, that doesn't have a scratch so you zoom it zoom in remove that fade make sure 
these ones are already synchronized like that then uh, you come to the last part from let me let me mute this part first so that you can listen to the original mix tape so from this point is a scratch so you you cut it or you split it so you don't need that part the only part you need there is from the first point the song is flowing without a scratch to the other part with a scratch so the next thing you need to do is to make sure they are synchronized as you can see they are synchronized now slightly one is slightly behind so may, let me check my cue point first Uh, my cue point is not bad, it's fine. So what you need to do, you need to to just to make to how do I explain it? You need to like there you set a BPM in Sony Acid. You also do the same in Sony Vegas, but this one you're going to like time lapse the the song. So what you call what you do, you come to the end part of the the video. Then you press control. As you can see that every, if you don't press anything, you just leave the mouse on that point. It shows trim event end. But when you press the the control button in your keyboard, it shows time stretch. It is very important to know the difference. Even when you press control, it shows a line. There's a line below that pops up. So this uh, this trim event end and time stretch for this purpose for for this tutorial for like setting a bpm or a video it's not really a bpm is like you are stretching the song to fit the original mixtape so you are going to use the time stretch so you make sure you press the control then you drag the song in like that yes i think i will leave it at that it's much better then what you do now you can like drag it now so what you do next because you only need the video you don't you don't need the audio you need to separate these two as you see they are moving together you need them to move uh, like separate let me undo that you need you need them to move separate so what you do you press <coughs> excuse me you press letter u on the keyboard and they are now separate you can like uh, delete them manually so what you do you press ctrl x and that will you delete the audio let's now work on the video uh, now cause this part remember this was a loop so it was a loop so meaning this this part of the song is the same part as this one so meaning the video should be the same so you come back to this one to the video you cut it you just split it you copy then you come and paste it uh -huh. one minute so I, let me let me do that again you cut you split it you copy that part copy then undo then you come and paste it there then you drag it up to the point that you want so a scratch is that from this <coughs> So scratches start from this point you paste it there so you need now to work on the scratches eh? so zoom in so the scratches start from that point so make sure the song is well uh, arranged i mean the video is well arranged then come to the last to the part you want now to scratch the video so you need to select the part you want of the video you want to scratch So you can use that part so what you do for scratching you need to a trick that you need to know you need to select the part which is a movement like that one yes, when something is moving so that your scratch may look good so you can use that part for demonstration so you cut it then you cut another part you copy it then you undo so you come to the 
this part when you, where you made your scratch you press that part remember on the insulin acid how you arrange the scratch pattern it's the same concept you're going to use here so as you can see this part comes up to this point so you drag this one to that level you do the same you copy it again drag it up to there as you can see here there are two there are three one two three so you drag it again but now you minimize it to to fill the three boxes I mean not the three boxes the three scratches so you do the same as you can see how i'm arranging them remember in uh, in the sony acid the sound that we reversed like this one these are there's a big let me open sony acid for you to see for this scratch pattern you see there's a big box this is a reverse three boxes reverse in the middle the same thing you are going to do here in sony vega so you need to reverse this part of the video so you right click on it and reverse as you can see there is a narrow for reversal the same thing we did this one of the reverse you need to reverse it but you don't need to come back checking in sony acid because if you make a like an hour, one hour mixtape you don't have time to come back and uh, check if it was a reversal so you just need to practice and you'll master it on how to check it so uh, the basic rule is that when you make three scratches like these ones the middle one is a reverse that make you, makes your work very easy so you reverse that one just continue so you paste this part again up to this point drag this one so then this one was a reverse also so you reverse it let's now check how the video is <laughs> can work with that so let's go and add there there was another video so the song was back to my sony to my virtual dj it was quanius you can also check on this it was his one it was quanius so you come back back to your search software so quanius as you can see it's a very simple procedure but when you make a huge, uh, like on a mixtape, is a bit of work you need to do. Also, if you make complicated scratches in Sony Acid, at, at times it can make your work very hard. But don't be scared. May explore Sony Acid, make all the scratches you want. To be just uh, when adding the video, you've got some challenges, but you can overcome them. So remember. <clears throat> Excuse me, remember you used the, the last part of the song. Let me unmute. I think this is the part you used. You cut it. You delete this part. I went to the counter check again. If there's the part we used in Sony Acid. Let me listen to it again. from this point so I need to, to separate it from this layer point so I cut it I want to zoom in and uh, and make sure my key point is well so I do like that then I drag it up to the to the point at which I had the mark remember I did a mark a marker in Sony acid let me show you this one eh? So the same marker is also in Sony Vegas. Is there? Is it yellow or orange? Yeah. So my song start from that point. You zoom in again to make sure you are synchronizing them correctly.
yeah i think they are all synchronized then again you need to to check if they are well synchronized now as you can see for this part there is a mismatch now how to correct that one if you listen to the audios they are not they will sound very bad as you can see some some delays so what you do you zoom in you want to split this one at this point cut it I mean not cut split remember the concept I said earlier on the time stretch so come to the last part of the video you place your cursor at the end then you press control then you drag it up to the point at which they match with the upper audio it's very critical if you don't do that you have a very hard time when making and trying to bitmap uh, the the mixtape and the video so let's listen to it let me drag it up to the end like that so let's listen there's still a mismatch somewhere so at this point is a mismatch because your time stretching you can uh, time stretch from the front part like this point but when it comes to the end it still has some distortion so you need to keep uh, correcting it the same process then you drag it up to the end but something to note they don't have to be like 100% accurate like the synchronization I think you can work with that one so you well, the same process you need to separate them press letter U on the keyboard then you you, you delete that one so you are remaining with the video so then you can also uh, you remove you make sure the video is at the point at which the, the mixtape is ending so you need to add some scratches now You need to select a good point to scratch, as I said before, somewhere there is movement. Like at this point, this guy is moving his hand, you can choose to scratch that point. Let's use that point. yeah you see how i'm testing it and just playing and stopping it eh? to give you an idea on how your scratch you look i'm going to use that point so the same process you split it into two you copy that part you undo ctrl z or you can just do the, the normal one there's a an undo and a redo button up here but to make your work very fast, you can use uh, those shortcuts on your keyboard. Then you paste it now. Remember how you did your scratches on Sony Acid? These are your pattern. So you remember how you did the reversal of the, of the scratches? But when you, when you get used to, to Sony Acid as you practice, you don't need to refer back to Sony Acid to check your patterns just see them directly from sony vegas as you can see from this point you did you did a scratch uh, let me you go back to sony, to sony vegas let me ask it to show you this is a scratch this one but in sony vegas it's a bit different like the bars are a bit huge so you you, you need to bring to match the scratch with the video so the same process as i did before You drag it up to that level so remember the middle one or the reverse so you reverse it right click you press reverse let's continue drag this one again to that sorry undo that you need this part alone drag it 
that point this was a reverse even if you listen to it you can use this reverse so it reverse it you copy this one without a reverse copy it paste it again the same you reverse this one so remember if you do a complicated scratch as you can see we, we have a hard time in uh, sony vegas but don't be scared Ready? see how a scratch came out well uh, i like it so let's see the whole video I think we can change this scratch. I'll just stick with it because it's just for demonstration purpose. But you can choose other parts to do a scratch like this part. Yeah, just explore it, uh, practice more, and you get good with, with time. So what you do next at the end you can choose to fade this out like that so if you want to add some lower thirds it's very simple so guys if, let me remind you something if you want some DJ drops uh, some some lower thirds so you should make them you just place your order in the there's a number in my description, my WhatsApp number. You can just contact me or via my email. But most of the time, to make it easier for you, either contact me via WhatsApp or Instagram. I'm usually active in those uh, platforms. So I, I may respond to you faster than email. So if you need some, any lower thirds, any sound, I mean uh, DJ drops, alert me. So let me add the lower third. So I need to open a video audio track, right click on it, on this point, right click, video track, so you can delete this. Remember in, uh, in uh, Sony Vegas, there are two audio tracks, there's a video track and an audio. So you need to, for video, like anything with a picture, you use, uh, you use uh, the one for video. So so let me import my, my lower third. So I come to open, to file, open. Uh -huh. well, these are after effects. These are lower that for the DJs. Where is mine? DJ Kelden. I want to import for YouTube. But most of the time, I usually make them with a green screen. But for this video, I mean for these lower that, they're not in, in the form of a video. But when I make it for you, it will come with a green screen in be behind it. So if I play this one, this is a lower third. Let me let me time stretch it a bit like that. Let me open. Let me add another one for Facebook. Open. Okay, time stretch it again. But you don't have to time stretch them, just my preference for this video so that at least it can move fast. Also, you can choose to add your logo on this upper part. Let me do the same. Uh, so you open another video track on the top. You locate where you save your your logos, pictures, Photoshop. Stop loading a bit. So my logo is here. Open it. So you drag it from the start. 
to the to the end of your your video so you can see it is on the middle you want to set it at the uh, upper right is it upper right corner yeah so you come to this point is a like a square it's called event panel crop click on it it will open this this uh, this interface so you need to to minimize it so what you do you come to this point you zoom out like that to make it small then you can so you need to change uh, the the move is it y axis or the x axis so for this point i want to, to it to move on all directions so you drag it drag it up to the point you want so at times you might find because there are two videos and there are different dimensions we find this difficult like when you move it it gets it disappear so what you do you right click on on it you match the output aspect so you do the same you repeat again you zoom out then you drag it where you want it it's a bit big let me zoom out again i think that one is fine it's a bit big also zoom out again because you don't want like your 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 videos full of your like your logo your lower third at times it gets boring so zoom out again it's only just for identity and avoid avoiding other people from copying your content because at times if you make a mixtape and you don't add any dj drop you don't add any lower third there are malicious djs who may just copy it and add their stuff so to protect your content you just do this so i think that's that's good you can also zoom out at the end so let's see how it looks so the next thing is to render it let me just the same process you want to render as a loop double click on the top what is a loop let me let me zoom out also the lower third and the logo needs to be zoomed out also yeah so so you can also zoom out the the audio so that it synchronizes with the video yeah so you need to render this one so you come to the same to the same part we went on sony acid file render us then there are a lot of uh, templates to render let me just show you there are a lot of them but I've, I've selected my favorite ones so let me show you my favorite so most of the time it's either i use a uh, apple tv 7, 720 internet hd 1080 or you can use uh, internet hd 720 so something to note is if you're using internet hd 1080 the file will be big but the quality of high definition will be maintained if you're going to use a uh, apple tv 720 uh, the quality will not be that low to be 720 quality but the size will be smaller but because our video is very small at around 20 seconds you can use internet hd 1080 uh, the rendering size depends on on your file size something else you need to note you need to render it at a size that you are able to show it other people because if you are going to share a file that is 6 gb very few people very few people will download it but the same file is at 1 gb a lot of people will be will download it and they can they can share with other people but a 6 gb file is very huge so most of the people want to download it that's another thing you need to note so let's use the 10, 1080 because our video is very small you render it remember to check render loop region the reason i'm rendering as, as a loop region if i had another file that i didn't include in this mixtape i don't want it to be rendered so just render so because it's a, it's a it's a video it may take some few minutes because they render it frame by frame but 
because the short one don't take that long so guys as i want to remind you again if you're new to this uh, channel make sure you subscribe hit the like button by liking my videos uh, the videos get suggested to many people in youtube so at least i get motivated and i continue making these tutorials so that you can share knowledge to each other as you know iron sharpens iron also if you need some dj drops uh, dj sound effects they are free they are free the sound effects are free but the dj drops they are they are chargeable depending on the the, the number of words also lower that so shall make the lower that but there are several lower that if you need the samples just contact me via instagram at dj kelden or you can uh, just uh, slide in my dm via whatsapp there is my whatsapp number below where you can contact me and I send you some samples and the charges it is almost finishing rendering so guys if you also have a question you haven't understand something i've done on the on this tutorial just ask in the comment section below and i'm going to answer it as fast as i can also you have something to add like there's a trick you know that you that can that can benefit us when making some mixtapes you can always uh, comment below so that you can gain the knowledge uh, like everyone can gain the knowledge yeah, it's almost finishing also guys if you need the software as i've used in this tutorial that is sony vegas a virtual dj this is a virtual dj 2020 how to check it is how to check if it is licensed just come to that and it is a licensed version virtual dj 2020 for 64 bits yeah this virtual dj need uh, requires you to have a uh, Windows 10 64 bits and a good video card if your video card is very is weak it will display the video what was beside the point so our video has finished rendering let's now watch it that videos this one eh? oh, yeah. As you can see it's a very good quality video the size is 22 22.9 mbs the very, you see it's only 16 seconds and it's already at 22.9 so if you do the calculation if you do a one hour video it will have a very huge file so that's why at times you use the you use the what am i saying the 720p apple tv template as you can see everything is well placed the lower that is very clear and the, the logo so guys that's all for this tutorial hope you have learned something new from this video in case you have any question do 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 what I've said, go to the comment section, leave a question there. So until next time, see you, be blessed, make sure you subscribe.